all right folks doing another video over here today we got a ball stitch 16 gauge finish nailer and uh, she don't work so we're gonna get her fixed up stick around okay as you can see here she don't work so I uh, went right ahead and uh, ordered a new guts for a uh, trigger and uh, got that on eBay for about 15 bucks and uh, we're gonna change that out today here's the thing from eBay open her up Hopefully it's the right thing. Hopefully I can get it open. Alright. And here's the part. Little spring loaded gizzer. Alright, so uh, to take this apart is pretty simple. Oh, by the way, this is uh, the model number on this, if you're interested, is a SB1664FN, made in Taiwan. It's a 16 gauge, uh, does uh, one to two and a half inch uh, 16 gauge nails. So, pretty nice nailer when it works. Uh, so, okay, to take the trigger off, there's just this little rubber O-ring that pops right off, pops right off, like that, and then this pin just pushes right out, and you can pull it out the other side. Yeah, wiggle this trigger around a little bit to get her out. And that comes out just like that. And then the trigger comes out just like that. Next thing to do is take this, uh, take a seven millimeter wrench and just start loosening this. Alright, once you get this loosened, this piece just comes right out. Now I already had it apart and I tried uh, just seeing what was wrong with it and greasing up some of the O-rings, but what uh, I think what the real problem was, was in here, uh, these two O-rings in here, we can get this in the frame here. Are pretty shot. Okay, so we take the new one. And I'm going to put a little bit of dielectric grease on here just for good measure. Like so. And then just stick her back in there and tighten her up. Okay. And then we just put the trigger back in the same way it came out. Here's a good look at that pin, what it looks like. It just goes through and then in that little indent is where that little rubber o-ring goes and that's all that holds it in there. Just got to wiggle it around. And put 
this back on there. And that's that. All right, so now that that's together, I'll plug her in and see if she works. Take a little scrap. Voila! Hit the works. Boy, that's nice. This thing hasn't worked in a long time. And that's all it needed. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you have one of these and it was doing that symptom, now you know how to fix it. It's a real simple fix. And uh, it was just a $15 part on eBay. So, I gotta go, folks. Adios.